Massive Attack are back with a new tour, a new single, and a new album called Metzony. And I tell you what, I'm not going to mention the phrase trip hop once. Since the sensational debut of Unfinished Sympathy, Massive Attack have become the dance act darlings of the Sunday supplements. But as they release their third album, Mezzanine, rumours are rife about tensions within the band and the possibility of a split. So, fellas, welcome to the Ozone. Um, it's, I guess it's a bit of a miracle to have you all together if the, uh, if the press reports really think to be believed. No, not really, because um, I left a couple of points. We're the best of mates. <laughs> <laughs> Until then, we're the worst of enemies. But is that really the case? I think it's just musical differences with us, you know. They're so strong-minded about, you know, our musical tastes and sort of directions that we want to take the band in. I think, you know, especially the fact that we've been together a long time makes it quite difficult because we know each other so well, we know how to wind each other up well, we know we're more acutely aware of each other's differences. Whereas earlier on when we started out, it was more of an exploration thing. It was a bit of a, you know, we just started, we were in a band, it was a bit of a laugh, there wasn't much at stake, you know, it was a bit of a quack. And now it's a lot more sort of, you know, in your face. Previous massive singles have featured guest vocals from Nicolette, Shara Nelson, and everything but the girls, Tracy Thorne. Their latest release showcases the unique vocal talents of former Cocteau twin, Liz Fraser. This is really part of our heritage, really, you know, as DJs and, you know, just music lovers growing up in the 80s, you know, you know the Cocteau Twins were like, you know, one of the super cool bands, like, you know, and Liz's voice was so distinctive. Was she quite surprised when you gave her a call? Um, no, I don't think so, because we actually tried to get hold of her, you know, a couple of years before that, and uh, kind of blank sat like, gave us a dump. She did? She said no. Yeah. yeah. Why? I thought you were crap. <laughs> the video's fantastic. Where did that idea come from? Okay, from Walter, <coughs> our director. We've got to give Walter full credit for that, you know, because often with, you know, video directors, we talk about things and ideas, and that idea was floating around for a while. And we were unsure of it because obviously Liz was pregnant and it seemed kind of like a strange idea, you know, because, you know, we're male and we don't really understand that whole process, you know, to a certain extent anyway. <laughs> but the idea of doing that just seems so kind of interesting, you know, so, you know, so original really, I mean. And, you know, we're really pleased with it. We think it's a great video, really pleased with it. If you all decided to call it a day tomorrow, pack your bags, I've had enough, go back home. How bothered would you be? Well, initially, not bothered at all, you know. But it's in about two weeks, so in about two weeks' time, I think I'll probably uh, slip my wrist. With Massive, it's more of a case of, like, I don't necessarily think it could end, really, because it's bigger than, you know, any of us, really. God, that's poignant, isn't it? <laughs>